Dialogue of the Deaf Believers will always believe, and non-believers will never believe. The stronger our faith in the deliverance of Amitabha Buddha, and the greater our efforts to propagate it, the more profoundly we will experience the truth of this old saying. When the tiger sees a cow eating grass, it still does not believe. How can that cow fill its hunger by eating such trifles? How can any animal survive without eating meat? When the cow spots fish in the water, it becomes sceptical. How can they stay in the water all day? But when fish see the cow, they are also confused. It's all right to jump out of the water occasionally, but how can this cow stand on land all day? How does it survive? Adherents of the Hayanayana say the Mahayana wasn't the Buddha's teaching. Followers of the sacred path say, the Dharma is about self-cultivation. It doesn't focus only on faith, like other religions. Practitioners of Pure Land Buddhism's path of importance insist, Amitabha's deliverance is conditional. And we believe that the deliverance of Amitabha is at his initiative on the basis of equality and unconditional. Should we debate this, it would be like a dialogue of the deaf. The Buddha said that beings have desperate characteristics and inclinations, so he taught the Dharma accordingly. So it's back to believers will always believe and non-believers will never believe. Amitabha's deliverance is the loftiest, ultimate and all-inclusive Dharma path. It cannot be understood. We can only have faith in it. Faith is a certain wavelength of the spirit. Whatever you believe is the wavelength you are tuned to. Some people believe only other religions, not Buddhism. Others accept just the Hainayana, not the Mahayana. Still, others have faith solely in the schools of the sacred path, not pure land. And some believe only in wrongdoing and blessings, doubting Buddha wisdom. Those who have full faith in Buddha wisdom and recite Amitabha's name exclusively are naturally able to understand thoroughly and posit the Hayanayana, the sacred path, wrongdoing and blessings, and the dedication of merit from worldly good deeds. Thank you, Namo Amitabha.